I'm Rob Chaw with uh, Military Athlete, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today about nutrition. First of all, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a geek when it comes to nutrition. I'm not much into science. In fact, I think one of the problems that's happened with the whole discussion about what a good diet is, is there's a whole um, sales force and marketing effort out there to make it as complicated as possible when it really isn't. Um, nutrition doesn't take rocket science, it don't, doesn't take a master's degree in uh, um, nutrition, or it doesn't take your own dietitian, it doesn't take a scale to weigh food, all it takes is some discipline. And uh, so here's our uh, nutrition guidelines, we've had great success with these, this is what I do, uh, what my coaches do, I try to get my athletes to do, and um, six days a week. You can eat as much meat, vegetables, fruit, and nuts as you want. You can eat as much as you want. There's no caloric restriction. You can eat, eat uh, you know, you don't got to watch how big your pieces on your plate or anything. Just eat as much as you want. Um, in terms of meat, I don't care what kind of meat you eat. You can eat pork. You can eat bacon every meal. Um, I happen to shoot elk, and so I eat a lot of elk. Um, you can eat beef. It doesn't matter. Um, what you can't eat, though, is you can't eat any of the good stuff. So you can't have no um, sugar, bread of any type. No wheat bread, no French bread, no white bread, no bread, no potatoes or rice or beans. To, uh, uh, really limit your dairy, which means pretty much for most of us, no ice cream, right? The worst thing you can eat is sweet bread. So especially no cookies. This is really good stuff. You can't eat any cookies. You can't have any cake. No pie. You gotta stay away from the donuts. None of that stuff. So six days a week, you can eat as much meat, vegetables, fruit, nuts as you want, but you can't have any bread, sugar, potatoes, rice, um, ice cream, cookies, you know. This isn't uh, rocket science, right? You know when you're eating bad, you can't have any of that stuff. And no french fries, no McDonald's, no fast food. Uh, in terms of what you can drink, six days a week, all you drink is pretty much water and coffee. I kind of drink, end up drinking a lot of the bubble water stuff, and I drink coffee. If you want to have a little bit of milk in your coffee, that's cool, I do, no problem. Um, uh, you can't have any alcohol, um, no soda, don't drink diet stuff if you can help it, stay away from the energy drinks, need caffeine, drink coffee. Um, no alcohol, that's a big one, you can't have a beer or wine at night, um, just stay away from that stuff. A dairy. Try not to drink a lot of milk, I don't, uh, but I do eat cheese and uh, I haven't found that uh, cheese is a big detriment, so I don't care if you eat cheese or not during these six days a week. You can put that on the menu. Alright, so that's what you're doing six days a week. One day a week. Cheat like a mother. What I found is if you don't cheat and you try to stay to this diet, you can't stay on it long. But if you cheat one day a week, then you're able to stay on it. So I'd rather have you eat good for six days a week and cheat like a mother on the seventh. That's what I do. And when I say cheat, you can cheat. You can have uh, you know, uh, uh, ice cream and cinnamon rolls every meal of the day. It doesn't matter to me with a, a big Coke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Cheat as much as you want. What we found is that um, when we first start doing this, we really look forward to the cheat days and we really cheat. But the longer we do it, the less we cheat during the cheat days because when you cheat, you don't feel good. It'll make you sick. Uh, but you'll kind of find it out for yourself. But at first, make sure you cheat. If you don't cheat, if you don't have a cheat day, then uh, you won't be able to stick to this diet. We're too used to eating all this good stuff and you're going to miss it. Um, Alright, that's really basic uh, dietary stuff. Um, I think this is pretty much a paleo diet, but I don't really care about all the science behind it. This is what's worked for us. Energy. Um, you don't need a lot of carbs to do the training that we do, or any training really. Um, you'll find 
Just try this out and I think your energy levels will be fine. Ours certainly have been. We really haven't had an issue like that. You don't need to carb load up before you come in and do a session. You'll be fine. Um, supplements. The only supplement I endorse or I, I use myself is just a whey protein shake. That's all, that's all I recommend you do. I don't care what brand you use. Um, it's the only one that has been proven in science that really seems to help you recover from training. And ideally you're going to drink a whey shake. Uh, like I drink a, a half a shake I tried to before I train and then a half a shake after. Um, but if you have one, if you have to choose one or the other, then if you can drink a, a whey shake, a full shake, um, like a, a within a half hour after, studies have just shown that that does best in terms of helping you recover. You don't need to. Uh, lots of times I don't, uh, but when I think about it, I do. Now, this stuff can get expensive, so just, uh, just a simple whey protein shake is all that I recommend. Now finally, um, there's one great book that kind of explains, um, uh, that I found that really explains in a simple, uh, in a simple way kind of um, why, why we get fat. And the name of it is Why We Get Fat. <laughs> Uh, this is just a great book. It'll cost you five bucks at the bookstore or on Amazon. And it's by a journalist named Gary Taubes. And uh, it's fascinating read. You know, it won't take you long to read it. Um, and it'll explain to you how come um, this stuff you can eat as much as you want and not get fat. And if you eat a bunch of, and if you eat even a little bit of this stuff, you'll still get fat. Um, he, in general, he just says that the calories from all these carbs go right to your fat cells. And the calories from all this other stuff doesn't. Um, so it uh, really makes a huge difference. Not necessarily how much you eat, but the type of calories coming in. And the book again is Why We Get Fat, a little paperback. It'll cost you five bucks. All right. Enjoy your steak tonight.